Welcome to Meet and Match Digital Show of Lineapelle Fair. Hello, Daniela Squadroni. I'm so pleased to have you here today. Thank you, Ori. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm very pleased and honored to be part of your uh, space in Linea Pelle. And uh, I find that, honestly, I find that this um, uh, space is amazing as much as everything. The way you organize digital, I guess it's not easy, but I find it fantastic. Thank you for the big effort. Thanks for this, because all team of Linea Pelle love to get in contact with all the smart people in our smart matching session. And this is really because we are curious to know a little bit more about your journey and a little bit more about how can you do research right now? Let me know more. That's so difficult. <laughs> I have to say that I really miss Linea Pelle. I was doing uh, Linea Pelle since the time Linea Pelle was in Florence, so we're talking about Jurassic time maybe. But uh, since then, I never, never missed one, one edition. And uh, now I find myself with a lot of difficulties because uh, I need to really um, trust my knowledge and my memory from the past to remember exactly all the suppliers and you know, and, and, and search directly from, by this, from each, each supplier. But for sure, it's very hard to find new suppliers and to see new ideas as you feel when you walk the fair and you talk to people there. It was really always a great event. So uh, that's it. So I have to do, I have to trust on my past experience that uh, I built working for the Aldo Group for many, many years and, and then after with Canical. And, uh, and that's, you know, why I can maybe do some job that, you know, these days is difficult. Well, it's, it's interesting to, to know about this part because I'm sure that now in your job that I know that you are very focused in North America, you're looking for some new specific materials. What are you looking for? Um, following the, 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 the request from my uh, customers. And uh, I have to say that we really focus on two aspects. The first one is the sustainability. And is there is really like a, a must every single new leather or lining or sole or footbed or accessories metal whatever i've been asked about the percentage of recycle uh, bio natural uh, so it's so important for my customers today that uh, everything we get and we build the shoes with is partially uh, recycle all partly natural so i really working i'm i'm really working very very hard to make sure that that's the most important part to make sure that everything declared is true because sometimes you know a lot of uh, company they use this sustainability word as a marketing thing but instead must be true so I really, uh, every time I need to get all the certificates, I go through, read everything like properly and make sure. So this is one of the biggest part of my research. And on the other side, since I have customers that have specific needs, content. Content means that the product I'm, I'm researching need to be good on cert for certain situation, like, uh, for cold temperatures, for example, or for the use that has to be uh, useful. So in this case, how can you understand the contents in transparency, traceability? Do you see the supplier open to give you all of this information right now? 
Yes and no. There are some suppliers that they're very, very open. Actually, they're so proud of. And it's amazing how, you know, you sit with them and you get so many information and I get in this mood and I and I love because they really they are really storytellers and I get fascinated. Um, I met with one supplier a few days ago and they are producing natural colors, for example. And it was so nice to hear their story about how they started to search for natural colorations because they were linked to the art and they were just uh, pushed to find the natural colors for, you know, some paintings from the 500 centuries, Raffaello. And so they were looking for the same blue and the same. So, you know, there, there are stories behind and it's so nice to hear, especially us. I mean, we are in Italy and we are the uh, source of everything. Everything started here. So I'm really fascinated. And there are people that sometimes, you know, they give you that certificate and then you figure it out. And sometimes you read the certificate and it doesn't mean anything. I understand very well this part. And I, and I think that at the same time, also consumer change rapidly in the same direction. How did you see this change of the final consumer of your wow. client? <laughs> wow. <laughs> in North America. Huge, huge changes. Um, maybe because I was working for different, different realities and maybe uh, with different customer profile. But um, I have to say that uh, since the time I was making research for Aldo and then Kenneth Cole, the focus on our research was much more the fashion and the look and price. So price was kind of the biggest element uh, behind, you know, the research. So yes, it's nice, but how much it cost? Yes, it's beautiful, but what's the price? Uh, because the target was to reach a certain uh, price point to appeal for sure our customer at, you know, at that time. The customer changed and is changing and I see a huge changes in that. And I can see that the focus for anybody to buy is not just the look. The look is it's important. I have to say it's still very, very important the aspect, the research on the lines, on the volumes is always very, very important. But next step is the comfort and a storytelling. So they really need to understand what they're buying because if they understand what they're buying, they must be also ready to resell or to have a very good use of because now people are buying for these two reasons. Now there is so much on uh, recycling also, like uh, giving a second life to things. So what you buy usually needs to have some good values and uh, contents. Before it was not like that. Before people were buying was the consumism of the eighties and the nineties. So you buy, 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 because every time you have to Wear something new, something different, something totally fantastic, crazy. So there is a huge change, like a superfic superficiality against content. Wonderful, because talking with you come up some come up some super interesting elements, starting from storytelling of story makers which i think is a fundamental point to explain a material and the story behind in the meantime buying contents which means long-lasting product exactly the product today need to be built for being used long time longer than before before sometimes i was you know, like being in the factory, you hear like comments 
and they will say, yeah, 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 it's okay, you know, they don't have to last long because then they're going to buy another pair. That was the philosophy up to the, 20, the 2010, 2013, 15. Now it's not like that. Make sure that, you know, is built up well, the glue is lasts longer, everything, you know, to be wore longer and reused. Thank you, Daniela. Grazie. <laughs> Grazie, Ori. Thanks to everybody for a little time and I hope that I gave some inspiration.